Yeah, yeah, I see. You just don't have that part. Of the no, not yet. Okay. 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 Let's take about another minute and really work on it. Go through the if you finished already, go through the steps and make sure you have those right. Um, on the tests, which you you know there's tests on Monday, I've already said that. On the tests, you really want to get these problems right. They're the ones that are going to be worth more points. They take a lot longer. And so these po these ones are the ones you just want to nail. I mean, that can make or break your test right there. So make sure we're getting those. Okay, we're going to start on the first one over here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's walk through this together. What's the first thing you see? Good. And we see in there the 9 minus 12, so that tells me we're going to have to switch that to the addition rule first, at least in your head or off to the side of your paper if you don't want to write the whole step. So I'm going to do what I did over here. I'm just going to take that 9 minus 12, and I'm going to go, okay, I want to think of it as 9 plus negative 12. Were you all able to do that on your paper? Mm -hmm. The minus, the one minus becomes two different signs. One sign and two different signs plus negative. Then we're going to think about this independently. Just think about that little problem there. 9 plus negative 12, do they have the same signs or different signs? Different. different. Does that mean we're going to add or subtract? Subtract. And keep the bigger sign of the bigger number. So here we're going to have, don't all speak at once. Three. Negative. Negative, negative, negative three. three. Did you get negative 3? Yes. Cool. Now, if you want to rewrite the whole thing and go, okay, this little part was negative 3. That's fine. Just write it right below it. What I like to do is go, okay, if that part was negative 3, I'm going to put parentheses around it saying that's negative 3. Then I'm going to fill in the rest of my problem. What needs to go before that negative 3? Six. 6. 6. Good. How about after that negative 3? Minus, Minus 13. Plus negative 9. Sure. So we just worked on that little bitty step right there. Hey, what's the next thing that we need to do? Multiply. Good. We go multiplication, left and right. I see this. How much is this little part multiplied, please? Negative, Negative 18. 18. <clears throat> Negative 18. Negative 18. Negative 18 minus 13. That's another one where we can change that into the addition rule. So the negative 18 minus 13, I certainly don't want you getting like negative 5 or something like that. Right? That would be the wrong way to go. If you're doing that sort of thing, getting like negative 5, you really need to follow the addition rule. Okay? Really stick to that. So here when we do this, we go, okay, the negative 18 stays the same. Can I change that minus sign? Yes. What do I change it into? Addition. That's it. That's it. That's what we need to be doing here. Now we can use addition rule from left to right. So minus became plus negative. Now we think about it. Okay, I've got 18 plus negative 13. Ladies and gentlemen, do I have the same sign or different signs? Same sign. Does that mean I'm going to add or subtract? Add. Definitely going to add. Keep the common sign. I get 31. Positive or negative? Negative. Okay, you got to be saying that. Okay, lastly, I've got the negative 31 plus negative 9. Again, that's addition rule. We like the addition rule. Man, the addition rule has those two rules. We can really get the right answer every time. We get the same sign. Again, we're going to do what now? Add. Add. We're going to keep that common sign. We've got negative 4. Okay, everybody raise your hand. Everybody. You all tried it, right? Raise your hand. Raise your hand, come on. Raise your hand. I had one guy in, uh, in my first class. It was, it's 7 in the morning class, so I can understand it. I said, okay, everyone raise your hand. And he went, this is your hand raise? This is it? Whatever, man. So, uh, <laughs> anyhow, uh, I'm not going to say any names. He won't watch a video. He's in a different class, so that's a good thing. <clears throat> so everyone raise your hand. 
Everybody, y'all try it, right? Okay, raise your hand. Don't give me one of these. Raise your hand. How many people keep it up? If you didn't make it that far, this far, then drop your hand, okay? So how many people made it to this step? Keep your hands up. Okay? How many people made it to this step? Good. This step. Okay, this step. All the way down. Good for you. That's very good. So where you dropped your hand, that is where you have an issue. I want you to focus on that next time. Question. Um, I did it a little bit different, but I got some You distributed it? Yeah. Yeah, we're not really there yet. It's a little bit more work than, than you need to. When you get to having variables, you'll need to distribute. For right now, guys, I showed you distribution earlier. I just haven't talked about for integers. For right now, it's probably the, the most concise way to find smaller numbers and deal with those. Because there you got, what you got, like 54 and 70 something? It's too big. Too big, man. Do, do the OR operations, it'll save you some time. Okay, next one, very similar type of problem. We're going to work on the parentheses first. We have the 2 minus 9. How much is 2 minus 9? Good. And you can show that by doing this. Change that to the plus negative. We know minus changes to plus negative. We have two plus. I did the answer, didn't I? <laughs> I was about to say I got it wrong. Yeah, no, I, I did too. <laughs> you and me both. We have 2 plus negative 9. We switch that minus to a plus negative. That becomes, of course, negative 7. We build some parentheses around that, saying that's a negative number. Then we just fill in the rest. We've got 2, negative 12, minus 3. After that, we have the parentheses. So we'll do that. We'll have the negative 14 plus negative 12, minus 3. Can you tell me how much this is going to be when I combine those? 26. Very good. And negative 26 minus 3, if you'd like to change that to the addition rule, we need to say negative 26 plus negative 3. One sign changes to two different signs, and then we get to use our addition rule that's going to give us how much? Negative 49. Beautiful. That's exactly right. How many have we got? Negative 49. Fantastic, very good. If you're if you're getting these right, you're on the you're on the right track. That's awesome. Okay. Let's do a few more here. Are you having fun practicing this? <clears throat> well, if it's not fun, at least are you are you getting better at it? Yes, yeah. that's in the important part. Oh, remember that? Oh, that's the good stuff. Oh my, oh my. What in the world? What are those vertical lines? Well, absolute value. Yeah. Do you remember the absolute value that we did in here? No. Absolute value acts kind of like parentheses. It says I want to do what's in there first. So when we look at this problem, the first thing we see, even though we don't have parentheses like this, where we don't have anything in, where we have something inside to actually do, here, this just says a negative 5. That just says a negative 4. But this one says the absolute value of negative 7. So we're going to accomplish that piece of it right off the bat. What is the absolute value of negative 7, folks? Positive. 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 Good. What it means is how far away is negative 7 from 0. It's a measurement. So every time in absolute value, whatever you have on the inside becomes positive. That's just what happens. So we do have the negative. We do have that multiplication because it still is multiplication there. How much is absolute value of negative 7 again? 7. So we're just going to write 7. Remember that this is multiplied. I did show the sign there. After that, we'll continue to do the rest of our problem. So all I've done so far is change my absolute value of negative 7 into positive 7 because that's what the absolute value of negative 7 is. Tell me the next step, because we've just done the, the so absolute value part. The x times the, the, x oh, the x exponents. Exponents. Yeah, that becomes before this. This really doesn't count as parentheses because it's just saying I have a negative number. So here we're going to leave the negative 4 times 7 alone, just for now. We're going to leave that alone, and we will do 
plus how much? Perfect. Cool. We've done our absolute value, which kind of kind of like parentheses. We've done our exponent, no problem. We're right down to here. Next step, folks. Good. All right. In multiplication, how much is negative four times seven? Negative We're going to check for any more multiplication or division. We don't have any, so we should be down to just addition subtraction. That's what we have. So addition subtraction. Oh, wait a second. What's negative 28 minus negative 5? How do we change that one? We haven't seen that in a while. Say that again. Yeah, remember when you had the minus and negative that changed into a single plus. Remember the single plus? Yeah. Two same signs change into one different sign. So when we have two of this, the minus and negative, we make how many signs? One plus. One plus. Yeah, that's right. So negative 28 becomes plus 5. Those are kind of the big ones for subtraction. You need to know how to do this. You need to know how to do this. That's it. If you know how to do those consistently every time, you have a much easier time at doing these over operations. So continue on. Negative 28 plus 5. We have different signs there. We're going to subtract, keep the sign of the bigger number, and get how much? 23. Really? Negative. <laughs> plus 36. Negative 23 plus 36. Oh, yeah, good. Subtract sign of bigger number, positive or negative? Positive. 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 Definitely. Positively positive. Try a couple on your own. Just kidding. And then that's plus. Uh, that's also a plus. Okay. 